Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do part 5 of the Tales of the Witch's Cottage page we're working on here. I'm going to do the little stones, this little piece, and the pieces up here. So um, basically we're going to finish the page. Don't know if I'm going to do a background on it yet. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do these as agates. Okay. Uh, what they call a tower agate and this is going to be a moss agate so it's going to be green with a little bit of um, creamy colors in it and a little bit of gold maybe a hole in it or something so we're gonna go with these dark green colors these are all colors that we've used on the page already except for, well I think I did use the white pr prisma color the uh, shallow yellow, deep greenish gray, olive, light olive, earth tone, black, greenish gray. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work on that. We're going to get out the... I'll go with the olive first. Okay, we're going to take this one here. This is not the olive pencil I have in my hand, but <laughs> I mean, we'll get there. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top here in a little bit of an area where you have an extra bit, I think. And we'll try to make it come down a little bit. So we're looking for the olive pencil, which I was supposed to grab first. So we're going to pull it like that, pull this one like that, and then we'll bring that down a little bit. Just adding an extra piece here. And this will have to come up towards the center. Okay, we're going to add the green in this area. And the egg, it is a rock, so we're going to try to make it as much looking like a rock as I can. Okay, come down here. This side's going to be really dark green. And then we'll start with a variation in here. Kind of go across, and get a little white area there and some little lines that go up that way. So in here is the dark green color. And then down under it. And that will be a dark green area over there. Okay. We have a little light coloration coming in here and maybe a crust in there. And then kind of a brownish area down in this area. Okay. So we want to darken this up. In here and then the brownish down at the bottom we'll add a little of that green in there okay so we're going to take in the deep greenish gray and with this we're going to darken this side we're going to darken the tip up here darken some of those areas there leaving a lot of white because it's going to be a cream to a brown up there also
Okay, and we're going to bring in the shallow yellow and put it in some of these areas here. Gonna bring in the earth green or earth tone. It's kind of a brownish color. And we're gonna add some of that in there. Pull in the white prism color. Kind of going to blend those colors around. Okay, pull in a little black, and we're really going to darken up these lines here. change that line a little bit. Bring in a little white Pasca here. We'll let that dry. We're going to color that in red when we're <coughs> excuse me, done. I just want that angle to go that way. Right down the center here. darker color. Go back in with our olive green.
put on the red <clears throat> color just to cover up this line here. And just deepen it going around here. A little bit of a shadow. That was the um, dark red, dark brownish red. <laughs> and I think I have a little bit of coffee here we're going to add in there. Don't put the pencils over on that side. I'll get them all mixed up. All right. Gonna go back in with the white. Oh, a little bit of that um, brown first, the earth tone. Gonna put a little in here. And I just need to go in with dark colors. So we're going to go in with the greenish gray first. And the deep greenish gray. I just need to make this darker. black. Just make a little line going up there and then darken this one coming down. in some little uh, dots or lines or something in here to take out some of that color. Let's see what I have. I have a little um, scraper tool here and we're going to pull out a little bit. White going up. We'll pull out a little of this just by scratching it out making it a little sharper. A little here. Just kind of scratching it. I want it to look more organic. Down 
in here where it's white. Kind of make it a little bumpier. Couple lines coming across here. And maybe a couple down in here. I'm going to leave it. Now we're going to do another one. We'll probably do it a little darker or a little lighter. It doesn't make any difference. They all look different. So I'm going to start with black. Um, what did I do with the picture? The, 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 the dark gray one. <laughs> Last of my pencils. The dark greenish one first. So this one is just going to be done dark green on this side. It's a dark green gray. And there, then we'll throw some olive in that. some white. Greenish gray. A little light olive in it. A little black. Etch out some color.
bring in a little extra white on this one. Wait for those to dry and then I'll add a little coloring around them. We'll make this one over here a little lighter. So we'll go in with a light olive green. Bring in the shallow yellow. Bring in the olive green. a little brown in this one so we're going to pull over some tan. Do some of the greenish gray. Shallow yellow. We're still going to scratch some of these colors out of this one. At the end of the video, I will show you the Google picture I picked for these rocks. <laughs> A little white in here. We have to put a little shine on this one. We're going to go back over these with a little bit of the olive green.
And we'll throw a little white in this one. Go back over that with some of the um, green also. So that is kind of what they look like. I have to finish that one, but cool. And we're going to go up and over here. I'm going to be doing this in the same colors and hopefully in the same kind of rocky look. <laughs> So we're going to go in with the deep gray green down in this area here. Sorry if you hear that noise. Someone is out there making some noise with their leaf blower or something. Okay. Do, do this is going to be the darker area and then it's going to be light coming up so I have to be a little more cautious where I put all my curls here There. Okay, I'm going to go in with the olive. A little of that up here. I should do it that way. Okay. Throw some of that shallow yellow up in here. Olive. Okay. A little of the earth tone. trying to make these exactly even. I want it to have a variation in it. Then I'm going to bring in the white.
Mm. You have to excuse me, someone's at the door. Hold on. Okay, we're back. And I need to finish this little piece up here. <laughs> Gonna bring the olive back in. Darken up some spots. Get the dark, um, deep green gray. Okay, a little black. Okay, add a little Pusca white in there. Gotta let that dry. So while we're letting that dry, we're gonna do the wings here. We need the light olive. Green gray. Deep greenish gray. <laughs> The shallow yellow. And then the white. Add a little white tips on here. And let those dry. Go back to this area in here. I need a sharper point, smaller area. We want to go around in that white and add a little texture to it.
pull in a little of the <laughs> earth tone and sharpen it too. And add a little more. Here and there. Bring back in our little dude here and put in some little We're going to make the little crystal there. Yeah, we're just going to go in with the light olive. Those can be white. I'll have to put that in later. And bring in a little of the greenish gray. and a tiny bit of white. Just get that a little greener. There we go. And the wings are just gonna come down with some green. That's our little bee guy up the top, our little bit here. I think I'll just add a tiny bit more. put some dark head in there. I have to finish this one down here. We want the deep greenish gray. Just touch up these little guys up here. Mm -hmm. 
there. And a tiny bit of white into his hat here. Just as a highlight. And a couple of these. We're going to highlight on his face. Touch up those just with a little bit of the light olive. So they have a variation of color. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's what we have. Um, if I do a background, it'll probably just be done with ink and I'm not quite sure. Well, that turned out pretty cool. Like I said, I'll leave a picture of the um, agates that I was using to do these little guys down here. I find this a little more, well, it's different. How's that? <laughs> and I kind of wanted to bring up some green up in here. So thanks guys for watching. And I will take a picture of this and leave it at the end of the video along with the um, agate picture I was using as reference. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.